Across most major religions in the country, children have been abused. It is the latest damning report from the Independent Child Abuse Inquiry. It looked at 38 groups from Christian sects to Orthodox Judaism and Islam and found shocking failings. Lacey Jones was abused from the age of 10 by an elder in the Jehovah's Witness community. It just rips me apart, sorry, because it was like, why aren't you helping me? And I just sort of screamed loudly and leant forward and just screamed and cried and they didn't say anything, they didn't look at me. And that still devastates me because you're brought up to trust them, that they'll look after you, they'll protect you. Now seeing the ICSA um, findings is once again another blow, absolutely devastating because I don't think things will change. The report said as many as a quarter of a million children receive some form of supplementary schooling from a faith organisation. But of 446 places of worship, only 37% had up-to-date criminal checks on staff that worked with children. They found that 10% of sex abuse suspects investigated between 2015 and 2020 were linked to a religious organisation. In the modern age, it is absolutely inexcusable that we have organisations like this who care for many hundreds of thousands of children up and down the country not having basic protection policies in place. I think that is astonishing. But can change really be forced in these groups? We have no power to force organisations to change. The, the role of any inquiry is to, to look at the evidence, but ultimately it is for the government and others to put in place the, the measures that will make those things happen. And confidence that recommendations will turn to action is crucial. The report says quite rightly that every religious organisation, every religious group should have a safeguarding policy. That's clearly something that needs to happen. It's a scandal that that hasn't been the situation um, to date. So that's a change which needs to happen. But as I say, we need much bigger change in order to protect children in these settings in the future. Sky News has this week been exposing allegations in the Jehovah's Witness community, spoken to those who felt they had nowhere to turn. But today's report found failings in every religious organisation it looked at. Blatant hypocrisy, it said, in the places where children were meant to learn about right and wrong. Ali Fortescue, Sky News.